So the first thing we need to do is grab an element. So let's see what we recently used. Um, we're going to do a different card here. Let's just do a card. So some of these will work without having to download them, but we're going to do it downloading anyway. So once you get your element, you want to make it as big as you can and put it on a black background. So then what you're going to do, you're going to go into your file. You're going to download because I'm using a video, which you don't have to use. You can use whatever you're going to download it as a PNG. Now that that's downloaded, what you want to do is bring that back over to Canva. And then what you want to do is hit edit image once it's ready. And we're going to go into our smart mockups. I'm going to see all. And then what we're going to do is find something that's on an angle that you want to use. You have to do some like crazy stuff with some of these because there's fingers and stuff. So I don't, I try not to get the ones where if I use a phone one where the fingers are not overlapping anywhere. So what I usually do is a computer screen. So I go down to these computer mock-up ones and then I just pick one on angle. We'll use desktop number seven. And then I'm going to apply that. And then I'm going to apply. And once that's applied in there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this and cut it out like so. I got a new computer for Christmas and it's doing weird stuff. Either I'm just really bad at it or something like that. So that gives you that perspective of just whatever you want to do you can do that and then if you want to do that and put it like on a sh like maybe you're trying to get something on a shelf or a wall or something like that what you can do after that is just take it into your download it as a png and take it back into canva and use the background remover so for a photo you can do the same thing i grabbed her and i just went and hit here because she's a, already a photo right so i can just go into my smart mockups and pick one out I don't know if y'all could see it, but my like uh, screen is like vibrating right now. I don't know why. Oh, technology, gotta love it. So I'm going to use desk desktop 12 for her. So we're going to put her in desktop 12. And then I am going to go in and I am going to hit these three right here. So I want to do custom because I want to make her fit. So I'm going to take her size down so the photo size is all the way in there, like so. And then what I'm going to do is go in here and then I'm going to shave the edges off, like so. And then you can take that, make that bigger, download it as a PNG, bring it back in, and then remove the background. And then you can put it wherever you want to. So like that would make like a cool photo on a shelf on the side of a wall or something like that if you want to do that. So th the photo ones are a little bit easier because they're already a photo um, and they fit in there and you can just go there and just do those like that. So that's the easiest way to do those. And if you have, you use something that when you do it has a like this and when you need to do a PNG um, to go take the background out and you want to make it just simpler, what I usually do is I just take a square and do like this and I'll cover the edge and turn it black before I download and then I'll go take it to my background remover that way the background remover isn't using like the sides of the computer or phone or whatever you use to make the angle out of but that's how you do that it's pretty simple pretty easy and you can get you a great little like perspective side angle thing going on and that's how you do that trick and that's my workaround for that and I thank you guys I'll see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.